What's up, y'all? What's up? This is for educational purposes only. The one war with Tartarian is the greatest civilization ever to be erased. Look here, man. It says in the Bible, man, that God, I don't know, if I think it's in Revelation, whatever, but God offers a banquet, right? A banquet. He's going to offer a banquet and invite us to the banquet. I believe knowledge and truth is his banquet. So I offer you guys a seat at the table of the banquet of truth and information, man. Just a quick story on the past. So if y'all want to have a seat at this table of the banquet, man, go and have a seat there real quick and uh, try some of the food, man. It tastes pretty good. Check this out. Once upon a time, there was a highly advanced civilization today known as Tartaria. She was dis she was disappeared from our history books less than a century ago. Its vestiges are still everywhere. This civilization dominated technologies more advanced than the present ones. Its geopolymer concrete was eternal and grew stronger over time. Its gigantic iron and glass structures surmounted by domes and metal needles were present on every continent. A global the old world order associated with mercury they dis they distributed they distributed free atmospheric energy to everyone heaven on earth its towers and railway stations are still in operation unfortunately the technology of free energy from the ether was destroyed and imprisoned and old technology reintroduced like cables and wires to distribute energy and make handsome profits. The story goes that Nikola, Nikola, Nikola Tesla had discovered the technology to connect to the ether and provide unlimited power to everyone, everywhere, at any, at any time. Let me repeat that. The story goes that Nik Nikola Tesla had discovered the technology to connect to the ether and provide unlimited power to everyone, anywhere, at any time free you could travel by boat car or plane or plane air powered cars or plane for free by simply accessing nature's magnet magnetrical i can't fucking read today nature's magnetrical energy that is omnipresent and we have and we have not been allowed this free energy energy to all due to our capitalist capitalizing system of greed and domination by those in power even to this day so i was thinking about something here uh nature's the energy omnipresent um unlimited power you can travel by boat or plane by simply accessing nature's magnet magnet electrical energy oh yeah the, the video is about you can get electricity from a tree or you can put a light bulb into into your front lawn, plug it into the grass. The matrix, everything everything's electrical, even us, we're all electrical. Everything's electrical. Everything's electrical. Everything's free. Everything's electrical. Think about that. So check this. Here we go. Here we go. So for over 100 years, 100 years, think about that. It's only been a, a blink of an eye. So for over 100 years, we have been denied a benevolent a benevolent a benevolent system of free energy to all mr tesla if he even existed was a front man to hide the tartarian free energy devices you will see detailed extens extensively in his book and you're probably holding one of them right now watching this video your cell phone or you're watching your tv you watching that tartarian uh you watching using tartarian uh technology now check this here we go the fake history has been called the ancient architecture as uh, called the ancient architecture as Moorish, Moorish revival or Morisque or Islamic. Hmm. Moors, Islam, uh, Mauritania, Morisque is also colonial. Hmm. 13 colonies, colonial, medieval, neoclassical, Barraque, ain't the French, ain't the black French, the, um, um, Basque, Barraque, the Romanesque, Roman Greco, right? Gothic. Huh. They consider black people Gothic. Bo, uh, I don't know, B A B E A U X Arts, e Eclectic, Tudor. Hmm. Henry the Eighth, Tudor, 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 England, T 
Tudor, black people, Moors, Renaissance, Palladian, Palladian, Palladian star system, Palladian, Richardson, Roman, Esque, Chicago school, uh, school Chicago or Victorian and labeled them as fashionable styles to hide the old and true function of the columns, arch openings, pinnacles, rose windows, naves, or, or, um, or ornamented with iron columns, towers, and domes. You, we can walk around any city right now, any city right now, see all that. In addition to having cut the ends of the pinnacles in the photographs or add cross crosses that did not exist before. His story tells us that the first power stations were established in Cairo, Egypt in 876, according to Wikipedia. It is the largest and oldest in Egypt in its original form. All Tartaria power stations, small and large, had pipe organs to harmonize and heal the population through sound waves, what is now known as cymatics. Let me read that again for my people so we can figure out how we can get back to the to the true ways. All Tartarian power stations, small and large, had pipe organs. It wasn't for gospel music. They had pipe organs. It wasn't for that boring Catholicism stuff. Catholicism. Pipe organs to harmonize and heal the population through sound waves. What is now known as cymatics, baby. The churches and cathedrals we see throughout the world all share similar design patterns that were designed with sacred acoustic geometry to maximize vibration. Vibration. Everything on earth is alive because it vibrates. To maximize vibration. Tone and resonance to heal and help download higher consciousnesses. Let me read that. The, church, the churches and cathedrals we see throughout our world all shared similar design patterns that were designed with the sacred acoustic geometry to maximize vibration all vibrates everything vibrates maximize raise your frequency maximize vibration tone and resonance to heal and help download higher frequencies so you didn't need no hospital you go down to the church and get healed up with some sound after the great purge of the Tartarians, after the great pur purge of the Tartarians, <coughs> excuse me, I smoke, excuse me, or the reset, the religious orders spearheaded by the Romanoffs reconstituted these amazing structures into Presbyterian, Catholic, Anglic, Anglian, Mormon, synagogue, mosque, temples, and etc. Russian scholar Anthony Fominko wrote a most important series of a seven-volume book series called History Science Fiction, where he proves that the modern right written history dates back only... Hold on now, watch me now. Dates back only... Yeah, I need to see that. Dates back only um to 1200 AD. Ain't that when it said Khalifa on the is walking the planet? I believe. That, ain't that the Crusades? This dovetails... With the creation of the trilateral new order, new world order, NWO, founding of the Vatican City of London and Washington, D.C. We'll go with another video with that. Did y'all know that?